Okay, today we are going to plant spinach. I'm going to show you how you can successfully grow spinach today. I love spinach. I love it more than kale, and I am so glad that I finally figured out a really good way to grow spinach. And so I want to share this with you. I hope that you have the same success that I've had. So what we want to do is try to select a good time to sow your seeds. I always like to sow my seeds on a cloudy day. Check your um, clouds in the sky, and hopefully, it will, you'll get some rain and it'll make your job a lot easier as a gardener to have a good rain after you have your seeds in the ground. So basically, um, I'm planting this in a square foot garden. This is a way that I'm able to grow spinach very easily is by using a square foot garden. I'll leave a link to how I built this little garden if you'd like to check it out. I've grown um, spinach in the ground before, but my results weren't near as good as what I've gotten out of my square foot garden beds. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you a few things you're going to need to plant spinach. I don't have here with me my square foot garden book, but I suggest that you review that, um, especially if you're planting it in a square foot garden. So I have a bucket of compost over there, a water can full of water, and I have in my basket there just a tool to help me loosen up my soil. I have some slug bait, some spinach seed, and then I have a couple pair of gloves and of course my knee pad. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and loosen up your soil. I've just pulled green beans out of here. So now I'm going to come behind it with spinach. Okay, so make sure your soil is nice and loose. I'm going to plant four square feet of spinach. Okay. You remember, whenever you're switching out plants in a square foot garden, you always put one cup of compost per square foot. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a little bit of nutrition in here that our spinach is going to need once it's up and growing. It won't need it until it's got its true leaves, but we want to make sure it's in here for it when it starts up growing, okay? And then just gently mix this into the soil. I don't want to put it down too deep because the roots won't be deep for a little while. Remove any debris, old leaves, anything like that. There we go. Okay. You notice I don't have a, have a grid. All of your square foot garden beds should have a grid, but I don't use one. So I want to mark it off. If these little wooden skewers are great for that or paint sticks. They're 12 inches. So what I'll do is I'll just mark off a little spot, a little space here for my planting. And now the seed that I like to use, and I've told my regular subscribers this over the past year, it's called Teton Hybrid. It's a great spinach. It grows very well. It's slow to bolt, and I've had excellent results using this seed. I have tried um, various different varieties of spinach. I've tried Palco. Corvair, Bloomsdale, and Bonnie's. Bonnie's was pretty good, but I didn't grow that from seed. That was some transplant that I bought. Um, really, spinach does best when you don't grow it from a transplant. It will bolt quicker on you, and that means you know it goes to seed quicker if you transplant it. So try to direct sow spinach whenever possible. And you can follow some of the directions on your seed pack for when you should plant it. We need to go about a half inch deep, Okay, I'd also like to refer you to your square foot gardening book. Um, the back uh, charts in the back have a germination rates and temperatures. For me, I can plant spinach in June and harvest it in July. Um, and because that's because this um, area really doesn't heat up to the 90s, probably until July. At the back of the book, it'll tell you which temperatures is best for spinach to grow. So the most the best time is really when temperatures are around 60 degrees. Okay, and that will give you the highest rate of germination. So just look at the charts and you can look at your weather wherever you live, figure out when you need to plant spinach. So in a square foot garden we'll plant nine per square foot. Okay? So just go about half inch deep, not too deep. And always use fresh spinach seed. Don't use old spinach seed. Um, 
it will, you'll get a much better result. For some reason, with spinach, you've got to use fresh seed. I've always had better results of getting um, spinach to germinate when I've used fresh seed. Okay? So, no more than about two years old for really good germination. Now, they'll, they'll, some of it will still germinate, but you're going to get a very good germination rate if you um, use fresh seed. So I'm going to go ahead and do all four squares, and then I'll get back with you here in just a minute. Okay, so I planted all four squares. I'll need to give this a tag, which I don't have on me right now. Make sure to mark your seeds whenever you put some seeds in the ground. That's so that you don't come back and um, plant something over it. Okay, that's not a, that's not a good thing. <laughs> you also don't want to pull... You're thinking it's a weed. If you're a new gardener, you don't know what a new spinach seed looks like, so... You don't want to think it's a weed and pull it. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to water it good. I'm supposed to get some rain, but I, that's not 100% guarantee, so I'm going to make sure I water these in really good. Okay, now let's talk about um, insects. I've not had a lot of problems with insects with spinach, with the exception of one, and that is the slug. <laughs> or if you have snails. Probably because they like the same temperatures and climate that spinach does when you're planting it. Like They, they like that cool weather, wet, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, I learned my lesson pretty early. If I want to grow spinach, I need to make sure I don't have any slugs around. So just get you some slug bait, and we're going to need about one teaspoon per square foot, and then just sprinkle it out. At around 60 degrees, it should take your spinach about a week to germinate, okay? And when that germinates, you don't want the slugs ruining and killing your seedlings. So get rid of the slugs before your seedlings come up, okay? Now I want to show you what to do once your seedlings come up. Here's an example of some spinach I planted one week ago. You can see that they are already up, and I'll zoom in here so you can take a closer look. Here are my spinach seedlings. Um, I have a couple that are too close together, so what I want to do is what's called thin them out, and you just take your scissors and cut out one of the plants. Okay, so I just thin those, and the rest are looking pretty good. So as far as feeding them, I'm depending on what kind of gardening practices you use, if it's organic or conventional. Um, spinach does like nitrogen, so you can use a cottonseed meal for organic gardening. Just sprinkle a little bit out. Of course, just compost is great, and, or just a regular liquid fertilizer. Not too much, you know, just like whatever your package instructions say, and then your spinach will be growing in no time. So let me go ahead and show you a couple of... Uh, harvest that I did to show you how to harvest it. I also want to show you what it looks like when it's about to bolt. Okay, so when you go to harvest your spinach, um, when it first starts coming up, you can just pick the baby leaves, otherwise known as baby spinach. You probably see that in your grocery store a lot. So just go around the outside first leaves and you can get those. Um, after a few harvests or when it starts to get hot, you'll notice that your spinach may start to grow up in the center and the leaves are getting smaller. This is your spinach's attempt to go to seed and prepare more se um, seed for other growth. So at this time I usually pull the entire plant out and go ahead and I'll plant something else in its place. Of the particular variety of seed that I grow is a hybrid, so I would not save the seed for a hybrid. Once you've got your spinach growing, you should be able to harvest off of it. Um, I usually harvest off of it about two to three weeks before I pull it out. So for that reason, I like to plant my spinach about a week apart during a growing season. Now, I didn't plant any in July. It was just too hot to get it to germinate. You'll notice when you look in the back of your um, square foot gardening book, that it will say once the temperatures get up to around 90, 95, that you can expect zero germination, and that is true. So right now, though, the temperature is great. Now it's mid-August, so this is perfect for my spinach. I won't have a first frost until mid-October. And this particular spinach variety, I'll go ahead and show you on the package here. On the package, 
and this is true for most of your seed packages, it'll say days to harvest. So I can expect to harvest this spinach in 45 to 50 days. Okay? So that's great. Okay, so that's my spinach planting. I hope that you can also plant spinach this fall, maybe next spring, if not this fall. Um, you can find your seeds online, and I hope that you can grow it because I have so enjoyed growing spinach this year and last year. I just love spinach, and um, I like it so much better than kale. My family loves spinach too, and they're not so crazy about kale. So it's a really, really nice grain to have around. I've just really enjoyed growing it. That's why I wanted to share this with you today. So thanks so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.